Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Inform player review and this is the first one of the newly released team of the week and it is Felipe Anderson. As soon as I saw him in the team of the week and that position changed to Cam, I really wanted to try him out. So if you want to see any others, let me know in the comment section and then I'll sort of prioritize those. And if you are needing ultimate team coins, head over to FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com. They're automated. Use my code Fuji for 15% off now. So yeah, go stock up and if you're needing game codes, head over to G2A. Links will be found in the description. So let's get into it, Felipe Anderson. Here we go. So I am pretty comfortable using the 4312 formation. So I decided to pop him right in the middle. And the stats on his card look incredible. 93 pace, 78 shot, 77 passing, which I feel is perfectly fine for a cam, 86 dribbling, 33 defense, and 60 physical. So in total, I played six games, scoring six goals, and getting three assists. Match rating wise, when I'm using a cam, I see a few yellows popping up here and there. But apart from one, he has some consistent match ratings. So I'm pretty impressed with that stat wise uh, some of his uh, well in-game stats have been increased quite a bit he's got 80 uh, 86 shot power now 87 long shots 88 dribbling he's got the four star skills four star weak foot high attacking work rate so he's going to sort of get in front and uh, sort of overlap your strikers to get goals and that is exactly what he was doing for me so playmaker wise if you're wanting to bring someone like that into your side then Although he's good at it, you're looking to be purchasing Felipe Anderson for an attack threat. And I quite like that, actually. So if you want to pause the video and check out his in-game stats, then do it now. But we want to see what he's like in-game. Let's go. So last night, I paid 125,000 coins for him. And the beauty of it is that he's 80 rated. So with a lot being packed, it's going to drive his price down. So it's good for you guys to afford him. Not so much me. But then again, if the review helps you, then I don't mind losing a few coins here and there. So what did I actually think of him? Now, I can't... I cannot decide which one I prefer. So his regular card out on the wing is perfectly fine. I feel that it's an overpower player on Ultimate Team. I absolutely loved it. So pretty much keep that in mind. You're basically paying 100,000 100, coins for that all-important position change. And I don't know if I prefer if he's better out wide or he's better central. It depends on how you play. So obviously, if you're going to purchase the regular card, he's going to be able to have a little bit more space to run into. But then you're going to have to cut inside and do a few more things to get him into those goal-scoring opportunities whereas if you play him cam he's sort of in the spaces like naturally if that makes any sense so he's going to be there to maybe easily finesse it past the keeper or make a run on where it's just where well, you don't have to dribble you just one to it and you're through on goal so in terms of the goal scoring if you want to be picking up more goals with him then definitely play him in that cam position but he's an awesome card uh, there isn't really much difference between the two you can score goals you can dribble and i feel that his pace is ridiculously quick like i remember a couple of times in the clips where i caught my opponent on the breakaway and you just flick this stick and you're gone yes i sweated it but you know i was getting clipped from the review but i really enjoyed it i love felipe anderson anyway pace wise awesome finishing yes hit and miss sometimes his score but usually they do go in and he can finesse it he's got good long shots he's got good smash shots passing wise if you keep it simple it's no problem if you're looking for someone to like thread a ball through the eye of the needle then he's not going to be that playmaker but dribbling wise he's absolutely sensational really really did enjoy him and he's not too weak but he's not going to be the strongest Strongest on the ball. Overall, I'm going to have to give Felipe Anderson a 9 out of 10 in that cam position. I do I prefer him cam? Do I prefer him left? I, I probably just. 50 50 to be honest depending on what mood i'm in really but value for coins i'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 and if you want to see any of the other reviews from the team of the week leave them in the comments and yeah thanks for watching drop a like if you've enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one team out Peace.